So this is going to be a disjointed rant. Mostly because it reflects on the kind of person who I think is toxic to activism. I had a series of unpleasant interactions with a single person today. I'm not going to say who he is because... My goal isn't to get this person harassed, you know? Um, and also because I think part of the reason that a lot of people are like this is because they, you know, they genuinely can't handle the concept of, like, apocalypse or something. You know, like, you tell them that this is all going to end in fire, um but that we should still work towards something anyway. And they accuse you of fear um, and lower dimensional thinking. Um, and I think that's because they are unwilling to accept that you can know something bad is coming and still be reasonably okay. Um... The world is is going to hell in a handbasket. It is a way that I could put it if I'm going to be the most civil and the most constructive. Because it's fucking true. Like, everybody who's been following me for any length of time can tell you that the elites have been slowly building their facial recognition AI super state. And that it's going to eventually result in a global panopticon. Now, are we there yet? Arguable. And, and I'm not even saying no. Because I, I believe firmly that, like, for decades we've been in what Consolidated would call friendly fascism. It's still a really fucking good song. If I need to get real super angry, I'll uh, I'll fucking turn that on. Um, <laughs> I just sort of needed to work, though, for the past, like, hour. So I've been blaring on a loop AFI's Miss Murder in my ears because uh, it keeps me in the right headspace. <laughs> but the point is that, like... We don't exist. Even as a concept, we don't exist. There are certain ones of us who are doing certain things. There is no we, you know? So, when people start with we, I know they're full of shit. You know, we went to the moon. We fought Russia. We killed the Germans in World War II. We will win. Fuck no, we didn't. I wasn't alive for a lot of that. You know, and the only reason I say a lot is because, yet again, the U.S. decides to have a proxy war with a far-right group of, um, of, of militants with, like, global aspirations and zealot-like fervor. Um, and yet again, the U.S. is funding those people and NATO is helping and has been for some time. And yet again, all this is happening, you know, because it's happened before. It's just happening again. And people like me who, who talk about this on a regular basis were mocked by the state. You know, they're building their CBDC they're releasing it, like, fucking soon, you know? And I should make, like, a really solid video on all that because they're, they're releasing that soon, yo. And the CBDC, combined with the fact that corporations um, are the only ones, really, who survived the... Um, the fucking 
purge, the, the business apocalypse that was the, um, the, the lockdown state, you know, means that we will have very little choice but to say, yes, sir, I will take your cryptocurrency and I will do with it what you ask. Even though it's not cryptocurrency, and even though I cannot run a node, and it will not be transparent toward me, and even though you're the only one who can see it, and you can turn it off and on at will, just like China, I will take it, yes, master, because I loves me some money, and I needs me some money after the lockdowns. I'm poor now, you see, and I will take anything I can get. That's what they wanted, and they got it. Everybody acting like because these final few vaccines are being rejected, the elites are losing, and the fucking illusion is breaking, and the mm, matrix is, is dissolving now because we've got certain people saying no to certain things. While the vast majority of people are fucking fine with it, and will beckon it with open arms. While the vast majority of people are still fucking sheep. Like, Russell Brand can have his, have his speeches on a daily basis. And I, I respect the fact that he's willing to admit he's wrong. And I respect the fact that he's willing to hold himself and others accountable. And say the things that other people aren't willing to say. But, you know, you, you, you... 20 million awakening wonders wouldn't be enough. Wouldn't be enough to take on the global panopticon. They wouldn't. Because there are 7 billion people on the planet. And the fact that so few people compared to that number care about even Russell Brand's channel. Who already had Hollywood fame. Right? The, <laughs> the fact that so few people care is all the evidence I need. To say that Russell Brand is probably not going to be as effective as he might think he is. Or at least people like him. You know? And I don't mean even that. Because he's trying to understand different perspectives. He's willing to talk to different people. You know? But there are a variety of people who won't have as open a mind as he does. Who won't have as open a mind as Joe Rogan does. And who will sit at the bottom of the open-mindedness scale by claiming that standing firm in saying, We will win! The timelines are coalescing, man. You don't understand the, the, the structure of the universe, and you don't understand where these beings came from, and you don't understand, man. And I won't prove it to you. I'll just tell you that consciousness, man... And vibrations, vibrations, bro. And everything I don't personally like is a part of the matrix, man. And and everything that 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 you know I say, no matter what, is true because I feel it, man. I feel it right here in the corazón. I don't fucking care what you feel. It doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is practicality. Kelly Thomas was screaming for his fucking family. Eric Garner was saying, I can't breathe. You know, Duncan Lemp, James Boyd, Breonna Taylor... Fucking, I could keep fucking listing victims of the system that you claim isn't losing because you feel it, man. Because you're vibrating. I don't fucking care about your vibrator, dude. Keep your personal habits to yourself. I care about what's practically useful. What's practically useful is, for instance, a camera streaming live to the internet so that people can see or defending yourself from a tyrant actively even if it puts you in legal trouble just to show 
these motherfuckers that they're still human beings and they are on the same level as us. They are not better than us. They are not, you know, some highly enlightened being who's, you know, somehow more capable of speeding without hurting people in order to catch up with your speeding car. You know, that's 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 like elites in a nutshell. I went over on the upcoming podcast um, on agorisnexus.com. I went over the fact that, you know, there was a Ukrainian Nazi with a Sonnenrad tattoo on his elbow given a medal by Disney and ESPN. And he was given this medal because he was the heart of his team um, in a Department of Defense fucking um, sponsored event affiliated with wounded warriors who apparently don't mind people with fucking Sonnenrad tattoos, which for those of you who don't know is a a collection of SS symbols. And that collection of SS symbols forms a sun, a black sun. And that is supposed to simulate the power of white supremacy, the power of Nazism. And it's supposed to create this environment where if that symbol is present, you know that these people want SS everywhere. Schutzstaffel. It's the reappropriation of ancient runes because Nazis didn't make shit on their own. Nazis didn't make shit on their own. They stole other cultures and then claimed superiority over those cultures. It's the most vulturish bullshit. But it's there, right? And... Ultimately, when you end up with this sort of thing, um, it becomes the status quo. People ask, oh, well, you know, how would I respond to the rise of the Third Reich? Oh, I, I would go kill baby Hitler. I would go, I would stop Hitler if he was rising to power. I would be Antifa. Well, not if you're not opposing this. Not if you're not opposing the U.S. funding going directly to C-14, right sector, uh, ex Svoboda people, fucking Azov Battalion. All these people who are fucking Nazis, wearing Nazi symbols, are maybe fucking Nazis. And maybe you support the this stuff because you're told to, just like the people in World War II Germany did. Maybe you're not too different, right? And that's the common person, you know? That's the reason blue and yellow get so much support, even though most people have no fucking idea about Ukrainian or Russian politics. But CNN and MSNBC told me to believe something, so I'm gonna fucking do it. And then the other, the other side says, oh, Fox News told me to believe something, something, so I'm gonna fucking do it. But they're all just liberals. Fighting for the neo lib neocon fucking new world order globalist tyranny that they're building around us, and that's the reason they don't mind using Nazis for their goals. That's the reason they've never minded using Nazis for their goals and only stopped anything with public fucking pressure. But that public pressure ain't here yet, and the people who do bring it up are cons- are, are 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 called Russian bots. Russian, 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 Russian. I can't oppose both Russia and Ukraine. I've got to pick. I've got to pick a side. And the fact that I don't pick a side means I don't get a seat at the table. So my point in all of this is that that's just one example. The lockdowns are another example. There's so many fucking examples of the elites just sticking new programming in an NPC. And I don't believe people who say that all I need to do is vibrate higher, man. Bullshit. I, it doesn't matter how, how much I turn up the twisted transistor. I'm still fucked. So it's not a matter of vibrating higher. It's a matter of doing shit and caring enough to know what shit needs to be done. And being uncompromising in my seeking of truth and waiting for proof before believing things so that I'm not just being led around on a string by whoever pulls it. 
That's what it requires. And, and so if people come to the libertarian community, anarchist community, and they ask, what can we do and what is actually wrong? How many fucking people are going to believe you when you talk about conflagrating timelines and vibrating higher and, you know, well, we've got to have our better consciousness, man. You know, how many people are going to believe that you're serious who don't already agree with you? How many people are going to come over? How many people? Barely anybody. 100%. If you don't have concrete proof, if you don't have a way to disprove the lies that they've been told, and actively oppose the lies they've been told, you're fucking shit here. It's not a matter of saying, they're losing, it's inevitable. No, it's fucking not. It's not inevitable. They've been maintaining their fucking iron grip on the world for millennia, and you think it's inevitable that they lose? It's inevitable that we lose according to statistical analysis, motherfucker. So yeah, I get a little bit fucking peeved when people say that it's inevitable that they're losing, especially when they seem completely unwilling to accept any sort of proof to the contrary. It might be that the people who are doing that are part of the fucking problem. And that they are acquiescing all possible room to those who are willing to provide some level of proof. And that means that if it's choice between vibrate higher dude and trust the science dude, most people are going to pick option fucking two. Which means that you lose by default because you're exceeding all fucking, you know, you're, 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 you're sacrificing all your territory to the people with an answer. Because I'll tell you, vibrate higher isn't an answer. It never was, and it never fucking will be. You don't know how you're vibrating. You're not measuring frequencies all the time. You just say you feel good, so things will be fine. Fuck your feelings. Facts don't care about your feelings. So when people tell me that I'm getting in the way because I'm being too doom and gloom, or that I'm being too afraid, or that I'm, mm, I'm, I'm letting them win, I thought their loss was inevitable. So if that's the case, then shut the fuck up. If you've already won, you don't need to say anything more. And you don't need to proselytize to anyone. And it would be better for everyone if you shut the fuck up. If you're not willing to solve the problem, and if all you're going to do is say that the problem is already solved, and they've already won, and there's no work required, or, well, they've already lost, and there's no work required... Then why are you talking to me? Why are you talking to anybody? What's the purpose of having a conversation with you at all, ever? There is no purpose. You've already won. Now sit down and shut up. Instead of preaching the gospel of nothingness, you are preaching. Because it's counterproductive to those of us who actually do have answers. People are going to say, oh, you're just another crackpot libertarian. With no solutions. Motherfucker, I'm not those people. I'm not just going to believe something and parrot it because somebody told me something that made my, my, my tinglys go up a little. I actually have a plan and I've got things that, like, you know, we can concretely point to. So don't tell me that I'm part of the pro or that I'm in your way. Your way is already perfect. You did it. Good job. Shut the fuck up. And let us actual authentic activists who are trying to encourage action and who are trying to encourage proof and thought and critical thinking and doing your own research and 
all of these things, let us do what we do and stop getting in our way when we're trying to smash the fucking state.